Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solution to MTOP 2024 Elimination Round for Grade 8 Students. This is Part 1 of 5 Parts, Numbers 1 to 10. Let us begin with question number 1. After the following expression, 4x squared y cubed minus 6x cubed y. For our solution, we will use common monomial factor. We have 4x squared y cubed minus 6x cubed y. Notice that 2x squared y is a common monomial factor. So we have 2x squared y times the quantity 2y squared minus 3x. 4x squared y cubed divided by 2x squared y is 2y squared. Negative 6x cubed y divided by 2x squared y is negative 3x. Number 2. What term will make the following a perfect square trinomial? x squared minus 12xy plus blank. A perfect square trinomial is of the form a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. Here we are given x squared minus 12xy plus blank. Notice that x stands for a, then we have x squared, then negative 12xy stands for negative 2ab, and negative 12xy can be expressed as negative 2 times x times 6y. Then B stands for 6y. To make this a perfect square trinomial, we square 6y. We have 36y squared. Number 3. In which quadrant does the point negative 1, negative 3 lie? We know that in a rectangular coordinate system, any ordered pair that lies in quadrant 1 will have the signs positive, positive. In the second quadrant, this is negative, positive. In the third quadrant, we have the ordered pair with signs negative, negative. In the fourth quadrant, we have positive, negative. Hence, negative 1, negative 3 is in quadrant 3. Number 4. Write the equation of the line 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 0 in slope-intercept form. For our solution, we're going to use the general form 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 0 and translate this into slope-intercept form by isolating y on the left-hand side of the equal symbol. Then we have negative 3y is equal to negative 2x minus 6. Dividing all terms by negative 3, we have y is equal to 2 thirds x. Negative 6 divided by negative 3 is positive 2. Hence, y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 2. Question number 5. Is the following system consistent or inconsistent? x plus y equals 15, and x plus 2y equals 25. To identify whether a system of linear equations in two variables is consistent or inconsistent, we get the ratios between the coefficients of x, y, and the constant. So if we have two linear equations, a sub 1x, plus b sub 1y equals c sub 1 in standard form, and a sub 2x plus b sub 2y equals c sub 2, where a, b, and c are real numbers. So the system is consistent if the ratio a sub 1 over a sub 2 
is not equal to the ratio b sub 1 over b sub 2. While the system is inconsistent or the system may be um, with graphs that are coinciding when a sub 1 over a sub 2 equals b sub 1 over b sub 2. This is where the system is inconsistent. If it happens that this is still equal to the ratio between the constant term c sub 1 over c sub 2, then the graph of the two lines in the system are coinciding. So in the given two equations, we have the ratios between the coefficients of x and y as 1 over 1 for the coefficients of x and 1 over 2 for the coefficients of y. Since these two ratios are not equal, then the system is said to be consistent. Question number six. How many solutions are there to the following system of equations? For our solution, let us first rewrite the two equations in the system in standard form. For equation number one, we have x minus y equals negative 20. For equation number 2, we have 2x plus 2y equals 40. Then we get the ratios between the coefficients of x and y. We have 1 over 2 for the coefficients of y and negative 1 over 2 for the coefficients of b. Since the ratios between the two coefficients are not equal, then there is one solution to this system of equations. Number seven, write the converse of the following statement. If I eat apples, the doctor does not come. For our solution, let us identify the hypothesis and conclusion of this given conditional statement. From the given conditional statement, the hypothesis is I eat apples. While the conclusion is the doctor does not come. To get the converse of the given statement, we switch the hypothesis and conclusion. That means the conclusion becomes the hypothesis, and the hypothesis becomes the conclusion. Therefore, the converse of this statement will be, if the doctor does not come, then I eat apples. Or, if the doctor does not come, then I will eat apples. Number eight. If BP is a median of triangle BTS, which of the following statement is true? A. BP equals PT. B. BT equals TS. C. TP equals PS. And D. Angle TBP equals angle PBS. For our solution, let us draw the triangle and its median BP. So let's say we have the triangle BTS and the median BP that is from B to the opposite side ST. By definition of median, it is a segment from a vertex to the opposite side or to the midpoint of the opposite side. Therefore, if BP is the median of triangle BTS, we have PS is equal to PT or TP is equal to PS, that is letter C. Number 9. Triangle ABC has sides AB equals 6, BC equals 7, and CA equals 8. What is the largest angle? In a triangle, the shortest side is opposite 
the smallest angle, while the longest side is opposite the largest angle. Given triangle ABC with sides AB equals 6, BC equals 7, and CA equals 8, then side AB is less than side BC, and side BC is less than side CA or AC. Opposite side AB is angle C, and opposite side BC is angle A, and opposite side AC or CA is angle B. Therefore, the largest angle is angle B. Number 10. The measures of angles A and B are 36 degrees and 78 degrees respectively. What is the measure of angle BCD? From the given figure, angle BCD is an exterior angle of triangle ABC, while angle A and angle B are its remote interior angles. From the exterior angle theorem, the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measure of its remote interior angles. Therefore, measure of angle B, C, D is equal to the measure of angle A plus measure of angle B. Since angle A is equal to 36 degrees, and angle B measures 78 degrees, then measure of angle BCD is 36 plus 78, that is 114 degrees. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.